hello everybody welcome or welcome back to persona budget i'm april and today i'm going to be unstuffing my wallet um and restuffing it for week four of june um how's everybody's week been uh, my week's been good uh, tyson left today him and abby are gone out of town camping i can't go with them they're gone out to a family cabin a family friend's cabin and uh and i can't go because i can't get the time off work so it's fine uh i thought well give me some time at home to um work but they left at like i think it was 12 30 one o'clock something like that and i thought well i was feeling pretty tired it catches up with me through the week and uh, so i thought well i'm just gonna lay down have a quick sneeze for an hour hour and a half and then get working and I fell asleep pretty quickly and then all of a sudden my son pops into my room and he's like uh, mom don't you need to get Abby from the bus and I'm like no she's gone out of town he's like okay so I swear I only laid there for like five more minutes <laughs> and uh, no so I woke up I checked the time and it was like quarter to seven so I literally slept my whole first day man and kid free I mean my son's here but he's pretty much a hermit so I don't see him anyway um, yeah, so I pretty much wasted my whole first day sleeping. So now I'm out of sorts. It feels like it's morning to me, but it's actually, I think, 8, 8, 8, 8.30-ish in the evening now by the time I ran to the bank and got money out of the bank for cash stuffing. And uh, I had to get it from a bank machine because, of course, all the banks are closed. And um, anyway, so now by the time I got started, it's after 8 o'clock. And uh, I've blown my whole first day. I can't imagine I'm going to be going to sleep at my normal bedtime tonight. Since I, I literally, I think I slept for over six hours. So it's pretty much a whole night's sleep all day. Anyway, so uh, I'm a little out of sorts. I'm always out of sorts, but more so than normal. So let me get started. All right, so before I get started, I have a little bit of happy mail. I should have actually done this in the last video, but I completely forgot to do it then. Um, and also, uh, I bought a couple of things this week that I wanted to show to you. They're nothing exciting, just a few little things that I purchased. And uh, I should have done that as well. So to start with, I bought this notepad. No, I didn't buy this one. This is the one I've had. Now, uh, if you're like me, I've had notepads, like many, many notepads throughout my lifetime. I've never finished a notepad ever. Like, are you like that too? I buy it, use the first few pages, and then I forget about it. And then later I'll buy a new one. Anyway, this is the first time I've ever had a notebook that I'm like litter. I think I have like eight or nine pages left in here and that's it. So I was getting like down to crunch time where I'm like, oh my God, I need a new notepad. So... I had to go to Dollarama to pick up a few things the other day um, for a friend. And uh, when I was there, I happened to see this notepad, which is, I love it. It's exactly the same. And I love this notepad. It's been very good to me. Anyway, it's quite thick. It was $4, which I thought was quite pricey for a dollar store. I got it from Dollarama. So, and yeah, $4. I thought, oh, that's kind of pricey. But then I also saw this one. Uh, so this one... If you know Harry Potter, then you know this looks like the stag uh, symbol from Harry Potter, just like it. I, I don't know if that's intentional or not, but anyway, so then I had, I was like, oh, do I get this one because I really like it and it's thicker, or do I get this one because it's got the thing? And then I thought, April, just get both. So I got both, but this one was only $2, uh, but there's significantly less pages in there. Um, but anyway, so I bought two notepads. So that was one exciting thing for me that uh, happened this week. And then, I mean, I know, like, what, <laughs> life's exciting when you buy two notepads for yourself. But anyway, um, so let me get this back to the page I need it to be at. Um, not that one. Uh, gosh darn it. Now I've lost my page. That's okay. All right. So there was that. And then I got some happy mail. So one of these came um, actually last week. Uh, and I didn't include it in the video because it was a uh, uh, digital, digital PDF. So this was sent to me and oh my God, I'm so sorry. Uh, so it's Canadian Finance, Jer Finance Journey, I almost said Jersey, uh, Canadian Finance Jer Journey. Um, she sent this to me to include in my 2000 subscriber giveaway. 
Um, so she sent me this. It's a digital PDF. I will laminate this and punch it and put it in the book. So it will come in this book. So there's that. Uh, and then this one, which was not in the book. So this was not, I didn't receive this. I actually created this, but I'm also going to include this in the book. So it's my version of the game of Plinko, which will come with an envelope as well, uh, or well, the dashboard and envelope uh, for this one. And then I got Happy Mail that came yesterday, which is very exciting. So make sure I have, okay, yeah. So I'm gonna open it this way, okay. I thought this was the cutest thing. So now I need to find these stickers. Uh, it says proud member of Dumbledore's army. If you know, you know, but, uh, oh my God, I love this sticker. So now I need some of these stickers. Okay. Uh, and then there's a couple of, of small stickers on the front, but I can't show them because I will give away the address. So this was sent to me by Lindsay. Um, at a bookish mama budget so I do I already use her saving challenges in my wizarding Wednesdays minis uh, so you might be familiar with her uh, but anyway she sent me these which was oh my god they're so pretty I just love them uh, now Lindsay I do I know you watch my videos so I do have a quick question for you though um, and yes I did cheat I did open these um, so this is her little card and then this cute little um, savings challenge. It's one little scratch thing on it, which is super cute. I, I just love this. Uh, anyway, so she sent me that and then she sent me this Winnie the Pooh. Now she did say in her little note, she did leave me a little note and it says, uh, um, keep what you want and use the remaining, uh, as part of your celebration giveaway. Lindsay. Um, thank you very much, Lindsay. It's very kind of you. Um, so this one I'm going to keep. Now, I don't do minis uh, except for in my Wizarding Wednesdays, and this is Winnie the Pooh. So I'm going to have to figure out a time that I can use this one, but I definitely want to use it. So I'm going to be a bit selfish, and I'm going to keep this one because it's Winnie the Pooh, and he's so darn cute. So I'm keeping that one. But, but for the giveaway, uh, let me sort these. Oh, my God. I just love these. Okay. So for the giveaway, she has sent me um, this one, which funnily enough is the very first one that I looked at and I did not catch on that it was owls in little wi wizarding hats and then the mandrake plants. Um, <laughs> I don't know how I didn't catch that on, but I didn't. So it took me looking at it for a second to realize that these are Harry Potter themed. Um, I love Harry Potter in case you didn't know. Anyway, so uh, this one be included. There's um, some scratch offs on it. And then on the back, there's a roll and save uh, with a little cute mandrake and mandrakes are very ugly. So the fact that she found a picture that makes them look cute is, is super funny. And then this one, which is Hogwarts Castle, Hogwarts School. Now I'm assuming that this is a roll and save challenge. Um, so Lindsay, let me know if that's what this is. Um, I think it is, but I'm not entirely sure. So uh, I'm gonna call it a roll and save. And when I go to do this, I'm definitely gonna do this one as a roll and save. And then uh, I have the little three wizards. So this is Harry, Ron, and Hermione. A little scratch off and then it's got another one of those roll and saves on the back of that so I thought that was really cute so there is one for me and one for you in the giveaway if you win the giveaway so that is going in there uh, and if you're wondering what giveaway I'm talking about if you haven't seen uh, once I reach 2,000 subscribers I'm going to do a giveaway if you are somebody who would like to be a part of that giveaway, my mailing address is down below. Um, feel free to send me uh, whatever you like to include in the giveaway and uh, I will do that and shout out your channel at the same time. So thank you very much, Lindsay, and thank you very much, um, Canadian Finance Journey. I'll post your name on the screen. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, I want it. I know. I think I know what the name is, but I don't want to say it just in case I'm wrong and I can't check because my phone is recording. So I need actually my phone to be able to check that. Um, so thank you very much, you guys. Um, I'm, I'm really excited to be able to use these and to include them in the giveaway. So that is that. 
So for this week, Abby. Abby had $5 left in her wallet. Um, gas has nothing. Miscellaneous, there is $5 left. I'm just going to pop that into the back here. And groceries has nothing. Um, I'm not going to add to this again because it's not our pay period week. So I'm not going to put anything in here, but I do still have the gift card somewhere. I think it's in my side pocket of my purse. Um, that when I say gift card, uh, it's my soup shoppers drug mart gift card. So if I do need milk at any point, I will, um, just use that. And then my personal spending. So this is not what I started off with in my personal spending. This is the money that I had to get my nails done. Um, plus my personal spending money that I had left over. And surprisingly enough, so we went, we were going to go back to our original nail place to get our nails done uh, because we're just not happy with the place that we've been going. Um, and then uh, my niece suggested to my daughter that we try this other place so that she's been going to and she really likes it. So we went there and they did my nails and I'm very happy with them. It's exactly what I wanted. Um, exactly. I mean, it's not anything special, but I like them. And anyway, he did a good job. It was a man though. And it was very embarrassing because I sat down and he came over and he sat down to do my nails. And I just assumed he was like the guy who was, um, taking appointments and whatever. And when I sat down or when he sat down in front of me, I said, Oh, I've never been done by a man before. <laughs> so you can imagine now how that appointment started. Uh, so there was quite a few laughs to be had, but anyway, at my expense, but anyway, when I went to go pay for it, they only charged me $44, which on average to get my nails done, if I get like just plain, simple, uh, one color, or in this case, two colors, it's an extra $5 for each color, uh, plus the fill is usually at our nail place minimum $65 ish plus tip. So uh, I usually have to save about $75 to get my nails done. Um, and that's just for bare minimum. They only charged me $44. So with tip all in was $50. I was so happy with that. And so far I'm very happy with them. Uh, so anyway, I had a little bit of money left over from that. So, uh, hopefully, um, it continues and we, we continue to be happy with them. Uh, I do have all these though. Now I have three different nail salon things in here where I get money off for my nails when I go. Um, but anyway, so, uh, that is that. Oh, and I do have a little bit of coin, not much, uh, just a couple bucks. And Tyson managed to sneak away out of town and not empty his wallet. Um, or give me money for cash stuffing today. So, uh, so I had $2 and 50 cents left in my wallet. So just toss that in there. Okay. So, um, before I start, I'm just going to pop Abby's five into here. Oh, oh, oh. All right. So put this in here just so it's out of the way and I don't forget about it. So 20 by 30, um, I thought her most expensive envelope now was, oh, I think he just got me. There's a freaking mosquito flying around here. Oh, mosquitoes, I hate them. And I went and doused myself in insect repellent, but I guess I didn't do it enough. I think he just bit me. Anyway, uh, so I thought that her most expensive envelope was $35, but it's not. She still has a $40 envelope in there. Um, so that wasn't. I wasn't excited when I saw that. Um, and then I'll take care of this in a minute. But first, let me stuff my wallet. Uh, so, uh, Abby. So, Abby gets her normal $5 in here. And then gas. So, gas is not getting because when I went to go get the money from the bank, um, I filled my tank at the same time. So, it's not getting because I've already uh, taken that money and filled my tank with it. Uh, miscellaneous is getting $5. If I can get the envelope open. Um, groceries is not getting anything. And personal. So personal is getting $30. I'm just going to set that aside. Uh... Oh, I'm always never prepared. Okay. So, never have I ever. 
I had so much fun with this last week. <laughs> Lots of comments too. Um, it turns out I am a, very, a good girl and most of the people who subscribe to this channel or at least the ones who comment are not. <laughs> they left a few funny comments. Uh, okay, so uh, I don't know how many I'm going to do, but let's start. I don't think I need any spending money this week for anything uh, that I can think of right off the top of my head. So I may go, I don't know. We'll see. Let's see. Let's see if I can get to the finish today. That would be cool. Oh, goodness. That wasn't a good start. Okay, so never have I ever been on TV. Oh, my gosh. Uh, have I ever been? No, I've been in the newspapers. Well, newspaper. But have I been on on TV? No, I don't think so. I mean, you'd think that this would be something that'd be easy for me to figure out, but I don't think I've been on TV. I've definitely been in the paper, but not on TV. Uh, so I'm going to say no, I have not. Uh, oh, darn it. Do I, oh, okay. Let me just swap that out, make life easy for me. Okay, so there's five. And I'll roll again. Oh, two again. All right, never have I ever regifted a gift. Oh man. Okay, well, confession time. I'm not gonna say what gift or when, so it's not really. Con but I definitely have. I definitely have regifted a gift. Um, uh, several times actually. Uh, try again. Whoops. Oh my goodness. Well, I don't think I'm making it to the end today. Um, so that is one. Never have I ever clogged someone else's toilet. No, I have not. Um, but that's an, an embarrassing one. I mean, really, on camera, what, um, truly, I have not done that. I've never, ever clogged somebody else's toilet. But would you answer that one truthfully on camera if you did? Like, really? Would you? I'm, I'm curious. Uh, answer me in the comments if, if you would answer that one honestly. Don't, don't tell me if you've done it or not. I just would you answer it honestly if you did um, but no I have not um, so that is five dollars for that one and should I go one more time I have ten dollars left definitely not gonna make it to the end mm. no I think I'll stop there yes I'm gonna stop there only because um, I liked having that ten dollars in my wallet this week <laughs> so um, this goes in here and last week I could not find this envelope. It was in here the whole time. I put it in here. I just had it behind the, um, I just had it behind this, uh, dashboard, but it was in here the whole time. So anyway, uh, this now has $40 and I could go again and play up to 50 and then I could reallocate this money, but I've already decided with this game, I'm just gonna go through to the end because clearly I'll get through to the end every two to three weeks anyway, so. All right, so that is that one done. And then I can give myself $10. I like this game, it's fun. It's fun, but apparently I'm not a good girl anymore because I have re-gifted a gift. Um, I put it in here and then so that is my personal done and then I just have one more quick thing so normally I take this money and I put it in uh, I just set it aside any money that I have left over I set it aside for a hundred envelope I'm not gonna do that this week uh, for the simple fact that in my savings challenges we are at the end of June. So today is the last week that I have uh, to finish this and I still need uh, 10, 20, 30, 40 dollars. So I need to put it in here. Um, I did say that if I don't finish it, I don't finish it. I'll just take the money out anyway at the end of the month. But you know, there's something to be said for finishing it. And this money goes into the 100 envelope anyway. So I'm just going to put that 30 dollars in here. Then I will 
do a little beach doggy and a beach doggy and two beach balls there. So now I only need $10 uh, to do during my savings challenge video. Uh, and then this one is done and I can reallocate it uh, in that video. Hopefully, hopefully, um, yeah. I'm gonna put this here. Okay, so I think that that is all I have for this video. Oh, I'm all out of like, where am I putting stuff here? Okay, so I think that's all I have for this video. Very quick, short and sweet video. Um, if you like this video, please remember to like and subscribe and uh, I will be back for another video on Sunday, which is for you tomorrow. All right, bye everybody. Thank <laughs> you.